Hi, welcome to Nexus Core. It's your boy Jose bringing you another Narukami deck profile. Not on Dungaree, but on Vanquisher, on the Vanquisher build I used at Team League this year. Let's get things started with the starter. Alright, skill is act. Rest this unit. Your opponent chooses a card from their drop zone and binds it face up. If they could not bind, counter charge one. Choose one of your units with a Thunderstrike ability and it gets plus 3k until the end of the turn. Second skill is Thunderstrike 4. Counter Blast 1, put this unit into your soul. Choose one of your units and it gets plus 3k until the end of the turn. Your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, retires it and binds it. Best Narukami starter by far. There is no competition. Next up we go to Dragonic Vanquisher Sparking. His skill is Thunderstrike 4 when your opponent's... Yeah, damn. My bad. Thunderstrike 4, at the beginning of your ride phase, counter charge 1 or soul charge 1, your opponent chooses a card from his or her drop zone and binds it face up. Second skill is, uh, counter blast 1 when your G unit strides, pay the cost if you do, uh, your opponent chooses a card from their drop zone, binds it face up, and if the G unit has a thunderstrike ability, uh, they retire and bind a unit from, uh, a rear guard. Next, we have... Three, uh, Dragonic Descendant Sigma. We don't care about his on-stride skill. We care about his rearguard skill, which is, well, once per turn, GB1, Counter Blast 1, choose a card from your hand and discard it. At the end of the battle, this unit attack the Vanguard. If the attack did not hit, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit. Combo this with pretty much any Narukami uh, G unit, like Voltage, uh, the GB8, even V-Buster. And he's hitting for a decent amount. So, yeah. Run him at three. Next, we run... Four Play Lightning Helena. His skill is... Uh, Thunderstrike three, Counter Blast one. When this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, if you have a Vanquisher Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card and it gets 2k. So one for one. It's pretty neat. Next, we run for Grizzel. Her skill is when she's attacked or is chosen by the effect of an opponent's card, your opponent car chooses a card from their drop zone and binds it face up. Second skill is Thunderstrike 5. During your turn, she gets plus 9,000 and uh, act uh, once per turn. Counter Blast 1 if you have a Vanquisher Vanguard. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and when she attacks the vanguard, she also battles the rear guard at the same time. So, like a little mini brawler in your rear guard circle. And next, we run four, Gun four, ah, four demonic dragon berserker Chatura. Skill is continuous; it cannot attack rear guards. And second is continuous. During your turn, this unit gets plus three k and auto uh, when his its attack hits. Counter Blast 1, draw a card, and choose one of your opponent's cards in the drop zone, bind it face up. Some of you might be asking, why aren't you running, uh, what's that thing's name? Martial Arts Dragon, such a shit card. And that's why I'm not running it, it's a shit card. It only works on Vanguard, and as soon as your opponent sees that you're playing Narukami, they see your starter. Well, you know, they're not gonna call rear guards to rush you early game, they're just gonna wait till, they're at, uh, till you're at grade 3, then they'll rush you. So, like, I don't like that card. All of my all of the people I've played against haven't rushed me while I'm at grade two because they fear that I'm that I run that card. So, yeah, just don't run it, please. Do some run something good, like Chatura. Anyways, next I run for Stride Fodder. You know what they do. I'm not gonna bother explaining it. Or, uh, Anastasia PG. Uh, when Thunderstrike 4, when she's retired from Guardian Circle, draw a card. Next, uh, for Smash Boxer Dragon. Skill is Rearguard Circle GB1. Uh, during the battle, this unit boosted a unit with a Thunderstrike ability. That unit and this unit cannot be chosen by the effects of your opponent's card, so no Denial Griffin, no Hetero Round. Just, uh, straight fuck you to them. Second skill is Thunderstrike ah, Thunder 3. Put this unit into your soul at the end of the battle, this unit boosted. If you have a Vanguard with Vanquisher in this card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card and counter charge one more draw power. Yay. 
And finally, I run two Dragon Dancer Fatin Thunderstrike 2. When she's placed under your guard circle, so I'll blast one draw a card. Alright, next we have the trigger lineup for Meditate Draco Kid, the heal that only works with Impede Dragon. Uh, skill is when it's play when it's discarded for the cost of Impede. If you the number of your face up cards in your damage zone is one or less, uh, Soul Blast one, uh, Counter Charge one. Next we run for Brawler Crit because the Brawler Crit can send itself back uh, into the deck even if you don't have a Brawler Vanguard. Next we have uh, three Recif and one Malevolent Jin. You'd ideally run four Recif, but because it's still like an eight to ten dollar card, I'm not running it. I'm not getting another one, so just running a Malevolent Jin in its place. Speaking is hard. Finally, we run Dragon Dancer Vian. Her skill is when your opponent's rear guard is put into the drop zone by the effect of one of your cards. It's it's it got a rod art, so it's not correctly printed on the card. You may pay the cost if you do. Uh, shuffle your deck, draw a card, choose a card from your damage zone, put and turn it face up. Running it because it won me. It wins games sometimes, I guess. Counter charging and drawing is fun. So is recycling triggers. Anyway, G units. For the Buster, skill is once per turn, Soul Blast one, choose a face down card with the same unit, turn it face up. Your opponent chooses one card from each from their rear guard circle or drop zone and binds them face up. If the number of your rear guards is greater than your opponent's, choose three of your units and they get 3k until the end of the turn. Second skill is Thunderstrike seven, all of your front row gets 5k, and this unit gets a crit and a drive check. So, you'd by your first turn, you'd ideally get to Thunderstrike 4, so you can use the great main grade 3 uh, sparking skill, get a Thunderstrike 5, stride this again, get a Thunderstrike 7, and then by second stride, you'd have uh, you'd be able to use it, that second skill. So that's pretty cool. Honestly, one of my favorite cards in this deck. Next, we run 4 Voltage. His skill is, uh, so once per, uh, uh, flip itself face up, it gains a uh, red attacks. When its attack hits a vanguard, your opponent, choose one of your opponents? Your opponent chooses one of his rear guards and retires it, and and then you choose two cards from their drop zone, and uh, bind, it face, bind them face up. Second skill is continuous, GB3, all of your units get uh, 3k until the end, get, ah, get 3k for each of your opponents. Uh, cards in their bind zone. So with uh, Plasmatron, I used to he would get like 5k for each bound unit. That was pretty cool. But I'm not running Plasmatron anymore because uh, drawing is honestly better. All right. So next we run one Vmax. Skill is Thunderstrike five. Counter Bliss 2, at the end of the battle, this unit attack the vanguard. If your opponent has no rear guard, you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal one damage. So, yeah, it's a killer. by A damage-inducing killer, so, so it's pretty cool. I think it's the only one, but I really don't pay attention. Anyways, second skill is when this unit attacks a vanguard, choose one of your opponent's rear guards for each face-up hard with Vanquisher and its card name in your G-Zone. And it battles all of those units. So, you know. Being a brawler is fun. Next we run our finisher, the GB8. Conquering Supreme Dragon Closer Dragon. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, retire all rear guards of all fighters. Bind all of the cards in your opponent's drop zone face up. And until the end of the turn, this unit gets continuous. Uh, shit. It, this unit gets uh, red text. All of your units get 2k for each card in your opponent's bind zone. Uh, next, we run one air element sea breeze. As we don't like great stallers. 
after that we run uh now we're G Guards, one Bulwark Dragon. So Thunderstrike 3, this unit gets 10k, and at the end of the battle that it was placed on rear guard circle, for every four cards in your in ah in your opponent's bind zone, choose up to one rested rear guard in their front row and retire it. I did I do not like this card. It's like uh Denial Griffin's autistic little brother. Damn shame. Next we run one air, ele ah, air element rat comb. Speaking is really hard today. Uh, so it's just a drop and draw G guard. Next one dismal for the very, very rare mirror match. And finally my, the, my favorite and the best G guard are in this game. Impede dragon. Skill is... When it's placed on Guardian Circle, uh, flip a G guard face up. Your opponent chooses one of their rear guards, retires it, and binds it. Then they have, they have, uh, if your rear guards are less than your opponent's by two or more, then your opponent chooses another rear guard and retires it. Sadly, the other one doesn't bind, but it's okay. You're gonna be binding it anyway when you stride into Closer Dragon. Anyway, I'm pretty, I think that's it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. But, uh, I have one more thing to show you. This could be considered, uh, an end credits scene. So, guess what I ended up getting at Team League? I'm the Narukami Clan leader. Yay. But I did not win with this deck. Oh, the deck I won with is in fact... Dungary. Stay tuned for that duck profile. Bye. <laughs>